Hi, welcome back to Anthony TV. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a video about, um, I just want to give a quick update about a story I've been following recently. I um, just want to give a brief summary about, um, kind of about what the, the Pac-12 disaster that was on, that happened this past Friday, the media days for their football. Um, still no TV deal. Um, I don't think, I don't believe that's going to, that's going to come. I, I haven't been believing that it's coming. Um, and I know I'm not alone in that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that, that was a mess. Um, there's other guys, other channels that, that talk about that, the, you know, I'm not going to spend my time on that anymore. Uh, it was fun uh, for Arizona. I, I feel like, you know, with Colorado now officially announcing that they're going to uh, go into the big 12, I think Arizona's on the clock now they're next. And I think if we go, I really feel like Arizona state's going to come with us too. So that gives you three right there. And then the, that last piece that I'm kind of sitting on right now, um, Utah and UConn. Um, there's pros and cons for both. Um, for Connecticut, they don't want to be just basketball only. They want ba they want to be basketball and football to join the conference. And um, and why, why wouldn't they? I mean, their football hasn't been that great lately. But, I mean, it's getting better now. Uh, Jim Mora Jr. is their coach. So he's, he's been a coach that's been around the NFL and college football for a long time and um so yeah i mean that that could improve i know they need a they want an on-campus facility uh stadium too because um, their campus is excuse me their campus is about uh far away from their campus i guess it's like a half about a half an hour away so i know they want to get some um you know they want to get probably some money going for that and um and also, uh, San Diego State, that mess uh, with the Mountain West, that's unfortunate. Um, I think that's, I think the Pac-12 kind of um, screwed them on that one, possibly. They say they haven't talked to anybody, but why would San Diego State leave the Mountain West? And then, obviously, the Pac-12, nothing's going on with them. So they're like, well, screw this. Why? Let's just stay in the Mountain West. And they want to go back to the Mountain West. And I don't know what's going on with that, but... I don't think the Big 12 has talked to them or reached out to them. Um, they would be a great ad, and I, I, they were one of my personal picks to, to be added, but I don't think that's going to happen right now, at least not in this wave, not, not right now, not, not this time around. So I think Arizona State will come. And then um, about Connecticut and, um, and Utah, I want Utah to come um, as well, but... I think UConn is that because they're that team that's out in the East and the, the commissioner of the Big 12, the new commissioner of the Big 12, your Mark, he uh, has already has something in line for Rucker Park, which is out there in New York somewhere. And U UConn's not far from New York. They're in Connecticut, but Connecticut's right next to New York. So that's basically all that, that New York area that he's trying to revive. Um, it, or it could be in New Jersey. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, Rucker Park's in that definitely in that Meadowland area. Um, and then he has new uh, Mexico, something for Mexico going on. And, uh, well, the Arizona schools will be perfect for that. I mean, you got the Texas already, and just right across the way, you got Arizona. So that will solidify his Mexico City, uh, Big 12 Mexico, um, that he's trying to do there as well. Um, and Utah, on the other hand, I, they have great athletics. Their they're, the football's great, and their basketball's pretty good. Their women's sports are really good, too. Um, they're bad men's basketball, not not in recent years, but they've been known to be to make splashes here and there on the national stage. So, um, yeah, I remember they beat in Arizona in basketball in 1998 in this Elite Eight that was to go to the Final Four. And um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, historically, I mean, they've been they've had a pretty good basketball program. They still have it every now and then. There's you know, needs to, I think they need more consistency there. But other than that, Utah would be a great ad, but um. UConn, their football hasn't been that great, but their basketball is great. Um, and we know Yormark, the, their commissioner there, he's a he's a basketball, he thinks basketball is important too, so that would be a great ad. I don't know what's going on with Gonzaga. They've been kind of quiet lately, but they could pop in, in again. Uh, Oregon, Washington's floating out there. Same as Oregon State, Washington State. There's just so many possibilities. But at the end of the day, um, the 16 I went with is uh, this 16 here. Um, I just think Utah, maybe they make themselves available to go to the Big Ten if Washington and Oregon still go. 
you know maybe they they get it they're like a three pa- or a five pack with uh stafford and cal so they maybe get or the bit the big 10 will get oregon washington cal stanford utah and maybe notre dame you know that's six right there so uh and then the other two who knows it could be miami and florida state you know we don't know yet so that could you know i just gave eight right there to the big 10 um and then i have this this 16 right here i have 16 right here I call it the super 16 for now but i mean it could easily spread to 20 24 who knows but this is the night the 16 i have up right here for this setup um the networks i mean i right now they do have espn and fox um so they have you know these this one here and they have this one over here these two over here they can work on i think if they especially when they expand um and and try to get back to the see they got these two early they jumped in front of the pac 12 to get these two right here early that's espn and fox and then the other two i mean i think they can i think they could easily may fill in time slots for each conference for each network and each you know channel a and channel b you know um after dark you know possibility on here too especially in those those bottom those b channels that are on the bottom right there so uh let's see what happens you know this is just a, it's an idea for the the setup um there's center i love this this matchup right here with byu and colorado there seems to be some synergy going on right there and i like that version of the four corners um i like utah too but i just like byu a little bit more um and this will be a little bit different you know um let me know what you guys think of the setup. I mean, if Utah does join, and it's not and it's not Connecticut, then Connecticut's out of there, and then you just slide Iowa State to the east, Colorado to the Midwest, and then this will stay the same. Utah will be with BYU, and then these guys will be right here. That will be your west right there. But I like this setup a little bit better. I like um, more the possibility of UConn coming, Utah possibly with the Big Ten, if they join those other uh, four uh schools oregon stanford washington and cal and and then maybe you get notre dame to partner up with them and then you go after stanford i mean after miami and florida state and who who knows who else so uh that's the setup i have right now uh let me know what you guys think in the comments um this was a little bit of a shorter video but um you know like, like again let's remember you the whole reason why utah joined the pac-12 to begin with back in 2010 was to play against the California schools, uh, you know, USC, UCLA, you know, especially them. And um, since they're in the Big Ten now, maybe they're eyeballing the Big Ten instead, um, instead of the Big 12. So maybe, you know, and, and, you know, I could feel why they, if maybe if they do, if they do feel that way, I could understand why they do. Um, they have won the Pac-12 the last two years. So uh, let's see, let's see if they, let's see if they, if they don't go to the Big 12, then I think the Big Ten's a good possibility for them. Because um, the Mountain West, I mean, why would you want to go back to the Mountain West? It just doesn't make sense. So either Big 12 or Big 10 for Utah. And um, in this setup, I don't have them on the map right here. But um, if they come, maybe they bring Utah and Washington, I mean, Oregon and Washington to come with them. And this could be, you know, nine, this could be a 20 team league or something like that. But right now, sticking with the super 16 right here we're not we're not gonna do anything too crazy too major even though this is pretty you know major enough uh, for one cycle so but let's see who knows i'm open-minded to it so uh, there's been other videos too that i've done that that have gone i've done you know crazier things so you could check those out too and um what's it gonna be guys what do you think colorado leaving now you think arizona's next arizona state comes with them does UConn come? Let me know what you guys think. Um, this has been a crazy topic for a while, and uh, uh, I think with Colorado, with some movement now and meat, and there's some like meat on the to work with here now. Um, let's see what happens. I mean, other other channels I know are gonna um, that's gonna keep them busy, and let's just see for how long. How long is this gonna keep um, going on, and how much are we gonna see more movement right away? Hopefully. Let me know what your comments are in the bottom there, and uh, I'll get back to you guys. So until then, take care, guys. And please share. Thank you.